Alright, so hello everybody, welcome to another video, and today we're gonna be talking about the Knights of Nebaris. So get ready, it's spooky time. So if you head over to the Necralisk and you speak to the daughter or Kylie, you will now have a new option called Nebaris Treats. The treats include the Nebaris Ephemera, which makes bats fly around you and is very cool, the Gram Day of the Deadskin, Basmu Day of the Deadskin, as well as the blueprint for the actual Basmu. After that, we have some glyphage, we have the rotting Nabaras glyph, as well as the Stingai Nabaras glyph, and then there is the Ballroom Simulacrum. This is basically superior to the standard Simulacrum in every way, shape or form, and that's why pretty much everyone is using it. After that, we have the Seti Lassara blueprint, not a bad weapon, the Grape Skull Nabaras glyph, the Hollow's Eve color palette, the Day of the Dead Necromex skin, and the Grim Grin Nabarus sigil. Next to the menu we have the Stalker Noggle, the Whispering Nabarus Mobile, which actually tells you a story if you place it in your landing craft, then there is the Spinner at Ephemera, which puts cobwebs on your frame and looks very cool indeed, and the Nictilus Ephemera, which is just a ridiculous pair of wings. Moving on from there, we have the Revenant in Action Glyph, the Kerato Sagatra Revenant Vania Helmet, and then we have the Sheev blueprint. Now one really cool one is the Haunted Interior Decorations, this is for your landing craft, then there is the Jackonaut Statue, Sheev Hilt, Sheev Blade, and the Sheev Heatsink. Now after that, we have Plague Aquin blueprint, Plague Wire blueprint, Plague Bokwin blueprint, and Plague Crippled blueprint, which is really cool because she also sells Exodia Contagion and Exodia Epidemic. So you can build yourself a nice Plague Zoo. So there is quite a lot of stuff for you to buy, and as you may have noticed, all of it costs Mother Tokens. Luckily though, you can farm Mother Tokens fairly fast so you can actually get everything from her in a relatively short amount of time. Your best bet is going to be the fifth bounty so the level 40 to 61. This one awards a ton of mother tokens as well as a lot of cool resources and pretty much anyone can finish this bounty very quickly because the gear requirement is just very low which is also why I'm recommending it over the steel path bounty which does reward more tokens but requires considerably better gear to be done efficiently. Though if your gear is good enough to where the steel path flip doesn't actually slow you down compared to the fifth bounty you should should do the steel path one instead. And finally I also want to mention the endless bounty, specifically the artifact hunter, which is actually somewhat comparable to the fifth bounty and only gets better and better as you do more and more rounds, because every round you finish is gonna increase the number of tokens you get in the next round. I wouldn't really recommend doing the other endless bounty which is excavation unless you really like it because the tokens you get are usually less than half of what you would get by doing normal ones. Which by the way is roughly about 170 tokens every 10 to 15 minutes depending on the bounty. The artifact hunt one is much better as you can usually get at around 100 tokens every 10 minutes and as I've mentioned already it scales up because you get more tokens every round. Now even though this is basically the same as it was last year and the year before that I still kind of like it because not only can you get a ton of stuff from Kylie, you're also gonna get a ton of stuff from doing the bounties, because bounties are pretty lucrative. You're gonna get a ton of resources, some mods, bunch of endo, and since Prime Resurgence is a thing, you can get Aya as well with a bit of luck. For me it's just a good excuse to finally head over to Deimos again, you know, have some fun in there, take the old Necromic for a spin and do some endless excavation, which is my favorite thing to do on Deimos because it kind of reminds me of Firefall rip firefall and if I can get some resources some IR or some of the day of the dead stuff in the process sure why not cool but anyway that's pretty much it for the video so I thank you very much for watching as always guys and I'll see you next time bye bye